All right, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us here. I know it's uh, close to afternoon, so good morning, good afternoon. Today we're going to be showcasing how bots and AI are changing the game in customer service. And what I'm going to showcase to you today is a demonstration that I've built for a large financial institution. And this was to address some of their challenges within their call center. They deal with a lot, a high volume of calls. And they also have some complex cases. And their customers um, are very important to them. So this customer experience and a persistent customer experience is one of the things I'm going to showcase today. Now in this scenario, we're going to dive right into a demo, so there's not going to be pretty much any slides. And I'll set the frame for a scenario that we're going to get into. I'll be playing a call service agent named Veronica. And um, I'm going to show you how within a call center, an agent assistant will use machine learning and artificial intelligence to help me help my customer, as well as proactively get ahead of maybe some potential challenges. So with that, let's just dive right into the demo. Duplicate. I want to get you in a nice, calm mindset first. Okay, so as a call center agent, I may be using something called Unified Service Desk, which is a client of Dynamics as part of our customer engagement. And this is common in a call center environment. And as an agent, I'll log in. I have a typical dashboard where I can, I can see some important cases that I have. Very common scenario. But what we want to start getting into is how an agent or a bot might be able to help me with an interaction. Now, I'm going to simulate a phone call coming in. So this isn't going to be a real phone call. But what you see and how Cognitive Services interprets the conversation in real time will be something that's real. Ring, ring. So as I can see, Diana's uh, called, and I'm answering this phone call. And typically, as a call center agent, I'll start following a script that's been provided to me so I can help with the experience. And I can see that Diana has contacted me regarding wire outage information. As a standard process in a call center, I'm going to do some validation to make sure that who I'm speaking to on the phone is who I think they are, and then I can continue to help them. So I might verify some account information about Diana, make sure she has the right address, et cetera. Then I'll take a look and validate some account information so I could better understand what type of customer Diana is, and then be able to service her needs. So now I'll take you to the part of this demo where we're having a conversation. And Diana's asking me questions about information regarding the wire transfers. So I'll, I'm going to do a capture. I know there's some background noise, so I'll bear with me here. Hello, I'm having trouble with wire transfers. Can you help me? Now, two things I want you guys to pay attention to here. If you look, we have a real-time sentiment score that is calculating sentiment based on our conversation. Now again, I'm simulating a, a broken phone conversation, so it's a, little, it's a little disjointed. But the point is, in real time as an agent, I can get a sense of, of my thumb on the pulse of where these things are going. And because in my conversation, I'm looking for information about wire transfers, in real time, my agent assistant is looking through our Enterprise of Knowledge Base articles to surface up the most relevant content. So here I have some information that's pertinent to that conversation. With that, I can drill into it and provide those answers in near real time for my customer. Today, a lot of call centers, they have to stop, maybe put a customer on hold while they go look for this information and come back. So we want to speed up that experience 
for a customer to get that information. Now let's continue this a little bit further. Thank you. I'm having a little bit more trouble with lock boxes. Can you help me with that? So again, as I'm speaking, the, conver the cognitive services is listening to our conversation in real time, processing that request into a search for knowledge base articles around that same topic that I have some interest in. Now, earlier today I got a notification that we had some wire outages that were happening across a particular region. And because Diana is calling about some wire transfer issues, I'm getting a sense that maybe, she's have, maybe she has a problem with wire transfers. So before I go ahead and create a brand new case, I'm going to take a look and see if there's already a case in here about a, a wire outage notification that might be related to this situation. Now, if you pay attention up to the top right, my bot assistant turned red. And this was a, a way for us to alert that the agent has something that the bot wants it to know and that it's doing in the background. If I click through to this, what I see here is that the agent detected dissatisfaction from the customer. Now, this particular bank that we're working with has regulatory compliance where whenever a customer is complaining or has a, a legitimate complaint, they have to log that. But that puts the bank at risk if the human who's listening to this isn't really registering that this is a complaint type of situation. So without stopping me and my process, the system is already queuing up a complaint record for an approver and a human to take a look at to see if there's a valid complaint on the horizon. Meanwhile, I can continue helping my customer with the issue around wire transfers. So as I look through, I'm gonna follow again in a classic agent script. I'll confirm some basic information as I'm talking to Diana. And I wanna also take a look at Diana's recent transactional history to see if she's issued any wire transfers. So this is where USD is a, a good example of how we can mash up multiple enterprise systems into one experience. So I can quickly look at our customer data and I can start to see that this particular account and this particular customer uh, may have initiated a wire transfer. And this is now before she opens a case or says there's a problem with her transfer, I can get ahead of this um, and reduce uh, the caseload on our call center. So let's go back over to the bot assistant. And I'm gonna take a look at a next best action here. Now as I continue in the conversation, I have an opportunity to ask AI in my flow, what would be a next, good next best action to take with this customer once we've wrapped up our transaction? And based on this customer's history with us and our interactions with us, we're seeing that this customer currently is not on paperless statements. They're still receiving statements via traditional mail. And we think this would be a benefit for them to convert into paperless statements. So this is an example of how we can also introduce either new capabilities or services to a customer in the middle of the process through AI and agent enablement. Any questions so far about what I've shown you? Okay. Now this particular process here, where, especially around sentiment indication, earlier we showed you that we, com we created a complaint automatically behind the scenes. The system detected some dissatisfaction and wanted to create a complaint. So a complaint officer would want to look at that particular phone call to understand is this a legitimate complaint before we formalize it, before we formally record that we have some customer dissatisfaction. So when AI created that complaint record, it also transcribed that phone call 
and stored it so that I as an approver don't have to guess why AI made a decision. And this is important because we want to be transparent. We don't want to build in unconscious bias into the process. So as an approver, as a human, I want to be able to see what AI has collected to determine that this was a complaint and validate that. So we can see in the middle we have some telemetry about the sentiment on the particular call. Um, keywords that can be extracted from the transcription of the call. And if I head over to the insights, I get a heat map of during the conversation of when the call went bad. So I can drill into that more specifically as, a, as an approver or as somebody who's doing quality checks to make sure that AI is making a decision that we want it to make. Here's another example of a call that we uh, transcribed. It's more of a one-sided conversation. But what we wanted to do is kind of create some more of that heat. Actually, try to simulate a real conversation that you might flow. And a couple things happen here. Without anybody prompting, we have artificial intelligence automatically creating a complaint record, transcribing the information, and providing visual inputs so that a human being can assess this and make a decision on it, as well as understand if AI is doing the right thing. If not, we can go back and retrain that model to not be biased or to apply the appropriate logic. And this is all leveraging our Azure Cognitive Services. So we're not writing code. When we had to, when we had to build this, I didn't write any code to build this transcription. I took the phone call or the audio stream, I sent it up into our Azure Cognitive Services, and I got back all of this as a result, and I'm able to use this in Dynamics to enrich that customer experience. Anybody have any questions about this? Yeah? Thank you. So the question is, the gentleman comes from Norway, and he has a question about how many languages we're currently supporting in this context. Today, I believe we've got five languages that we're doing in the real-time cognitive services. So we have many languages we do translation on. But for sentiment analysis on the cognitive services, our language body is growing. So his question is, what's the current support for certain CTI uh, vendors and integrations? This system will support any vendor that has an open API for integration. And this is a common interface that's used to help bring in a call adapter for a screen pop. So when someone comes in, it queries your Dynamics data and provides a pop-up within the context of your uh, application. We've recently, in October, we're releasing our channel integration framework as part of Dynamics so that you can do this right in Dynamics web application instead of having to have a USD client. So that concludes my demo. Um, if you guys have any other questions about how we built the demo or anything like that, I'm happy to entertain some more deep technical questions. So the question is, what kind of back-end telephony and technology is used to, for this to occur? In this scenario, I'm using just the mic to capture my audio to simulate a phone call. This will work with uh, Genesis systems, your Cisco phone systems, Avaya. I've personally implemented this with about five different phone system vendors using either partners or Microsoft Consulting Services to, to make that link. Yes, yep. There's a nice complement between the two where 
This isn't an IVR, but we leverage IVR for authentication. Um, we have some customers today that are using my voice as my password when it comes to authenticating a user. So when Diana calls, instead of Diana having to verify account information through questions, her voice can be used to determine her identity, which then lets me know I can continue to help her and not have to ask her who she is. Yes? I, say that again? Good question. So first, the, in this scenario, we serialize the voice to text, and then we're analyzing the text. So if you have any feet, oh, go ahead. I'll continue to take some questions. Say that again. So for this, we actually have a blog, um, Jeffrey Innes, and I can provide some links after the session. We have a nice blog where you can build what I just built in about a day and a half. And, and it's a complete walkthrough. It's very thorough. But please feel free to uh, uh, send a nice evaluation. Let, uh, feedback is good. I'm curious on how well we were able to, to showcase bots and AI and how they are changing the game. And everything I showed you here is real. This is all now. This isn't coming soon. This is stuff that we're deploying today for our customers. And I think that concludes our session. Thank you.